right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Good day mga Cubs! Kumusta? Ako nga po pala ang inyong kabiyahi at kapitik. My name is Cubs Erwin and welcome po sa ating YouTube channel, Earns Cubs. And for today's episode mga Cubs, babiyahe po tayo sa Sambuanga. Wow! Yes, you heard it right. We are going to Sambuanga City. Right? So, Ang dami pong pwedeng puntahan, ang uh, dami pong pwedeng makita na maganda sa Sambuanga. In this episode, babiyahe po tayo dun sa, in particular, sa Santa Cruz Island, also known as the Pink Sand Beach. Wow! We will tour around the island and titingnan po natin kung gaano kaganda ang isla ng Santa Cruz, Sambuanga City. So if you're excited mga Cubs, aba, subscribe muna and like po sa ating videos and please hit the notification bell para ma-update po kayo whenever may upload po tayong bago. So mga Cubs, let's go!
Kaya medyo magigyan. <laughs> Mas okay pala ba? Kaya ano ito kalaki? Roll, roll, roll your boat gently on the sea. Hey, you! 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 Hey, Hey, you! So warm, but then like a yellow box door. Come here, come here. Come <laughs> Canoe. Hello. Hey, hey you too. Hey you too, Dre. Hello. Hi, ayo na lang wag ano. <laughs> Kasi naka video. Hey, like what? Two Hi, two lovers. <laughs> oh, they're not lovers. <laughs> no lovers, okay. Rish, I'm going to pack out your bar for Uncle Manny. Jack, I'm going to go to Baba. No, do not hold my arm here. <gasps> my God, Jesus Christ, Mama Mary, help. Do not hold this one. Okay, go, go. Go, go, oh my God. Watching it action. Don't be afraid, Daddy. Daddy. Island po ay my Facebook account. Yung pink sa, yung po ang kanyang profile picture. Ito yung central ng ecosystem. This is like the heart and soul of the island. Bakit? Nandito po yung iba't ibang distribution ng ating mga mangroves or tinatawag natin bakawan. No? Yung bakawan po, may major species pa yan. Dalawa po is bakawang lalaki at saka bakawang babae. Unfortunately, sa mga bakawan, hindi sila gender sensitive. So, wala pa tayong identification ng bakawang that belongs to the third world, a third, third uh, gender, no? And then, ang maganda sa bakawan, one hectare of bakawan can produce one ton of fishery products. That's 1,000 uh, kilograms. Wow! At uh, meron din tayong magandang distribution po dito ng seagrass. One square meter ng seagrass makakaproduce po ng 10 liters of oxygen. That's why seagrass are open for the lungs of the sea. formation ng kanyang leaves ay broad, malapad. Yung bakawang lalaki ay pointy or pointed. Sa lalaki oh. ay pointed. 
Pagdating naman sa flower distribution, sa isang stock, maraming flowers ang bakawang babae. Yung bakawang lalaki, dalawa lang. Oo. Left and right. Now, itong flower na po, pag ito po nag-mature, magiging propagule yan. Ito po yung propagule. This is like the equivalent of the seed ng isang bakawan. This is the reproductive system ng bakawan po. Now, paano po ba? Gra gravity po ang ginagamit ng bakawan para po mag-reproduce. Paano po? Pag ito po mag-mature, matatanggal po yan ng uh, natural sa kanyang stock mauhulog. And because gravity is the invisible force that's pulling everything downwards, talaga mauhulog po siya. And then pointed nga yung point niya, natamaan niya yung soft area ng mud, doon po magsisimula ang mauhulog. Yan po ang legend. Now because of that uh, system of growth po nila, bakawang lalaki would grow among bakawang lalaki. Yung babae naman would also grow among bakawang babae. Pero itong dalawa po nagsama babae at sa lalaki, kaya ito po ang bakawang my forever. <laughs> Posible po, nung nahulog sila pareho, hindi nila tinamaan yung soft area ng mud. Pareho silang naging drifters. And when they drifted sa bitong posisyon, dito po silang uh, nag-meet at dito po silang lumaki ng sabay. Napakasising asas ng bakawang. <laughs> yung bakawang po is open po as a tidal forest because that's the first line of defense against tsunami and storm uh, surge. Bless po ang isang lugar na may bakawan at ito po sir po sa Oh my... Again po, if you have questions, don't be shy, get it out. Tapos, if you have any easy, nating nyo lang po. Huwag na lang, huwag na. Protected area na doon. Limpio ka yun. Jellyfish, mandari! Jellyfish? Are you jelly? No. I'm jelly. I'm jolly! I'm gonna cover it here. Do you know what those? Those are jellyfish. You know what are those, kuya? Those are mangroves. The brown, the brown one. Oh my god. Look at those. Okay, we'll first demonstrate paano si Bilang kawakaw po ng maayos at tama. We'll do a little background on the classic jellyfish ito. Yep, ito. Formation tamo to to. Full jack. Okay, so demonstration po tayo. Ayan, medyo malali po so hindi natin ma-access with our own one. With this, we will ask the assistant ng ating mga boatman. Pagdating po sa nature, tatlong letter din po ang applicable. Napaka-core ng letters na to, pero applicable pa sa nature. TLC ang letters. <laughs> Tender loving care. Oh! Again, kung gumamit tayo ng lotion at saka sunblock, kindly wash off yung hand ko natin para hindi natin makontaminate yung ating mga jellyfish. Ayan, this is called the stingless upside down jellyfish. Wow! Ayan. Like any jellyfish po, if you let them swim, They will swim gracefully. Yan, maarte, majega. After a few seconds, babaligtat at babaligtat po yan upside down. Kasi ganyan po sila manghuli ng planktons. Those are their fruits. No? At saka dahil nga na, yung, yung uh, current po dito trend is going east and west lang po, yung planktons po dinadala lang sa kanila. So they're living like a boss. Wow! Hmm, dinideliver yung pagkain sa kanila. No? So for like boss! Po, <laughs> yes, like a boss. Ito. More it's a boss, baby! <laughs> That's another ball. But yeah, something like that. Cover it. Let's go. We go on intense there. Ito, ito. Pressure tayo. Dapat pa pressure yung mga jellyfish. Ano yung tatsansingan natin? Asabe! Wait lang. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Tapos tayo, holy book. Proper way of catching, you will know you're doing it right. Pagka hinawakan nyo po yung jellyfish na ganito, nagkakagalaw pa rin siya. This is not proper po. At saka huwag natin iangat outside of its island menu. Yung papare, huwag natin iangat. Dito po din ganun. At dapat nandito lang po sila sa tubig, they're moving naturally ganyan. Now, if you want to flip them upside down, always from the top po, no? Always from the top. Ganito, let them float, ganyan, from the top, then turn them upside down. 
Huwag po natin gawin parang pancake. <laughs> pancake! Turn upside down. Ayan. They're stingless po. So napakasay po itong... Okay, so hindi po ito basura, no? This is a uh, uh, recycled bottle po ito ng Mountain Dew. Ginagamit nila as marker ng isang ways paano sila makakuha ng crabs. Ang mga villagers po dito ay tinatawag natin tenured migrants. Meaning they are here before diniklare ito as protected area. So we give them the rights and of course the privileges para ikunin yung mga resources dito at ibebenta po sa beach area. Sila lang po ang allowed na pumasok dito at panguha ng mga uh, resources dito. No? And the government, uh, kami po, we will just invite guests to come over para ready customer ng mga bisita. So that's how we establish yung uh, protocol namin for livelihood. Now, ang tawag po dito ay panggal. Uh, this is one of the ways paano po sila maka, makahuli po ng crabs. No? Panggal po ay uh, using the system called bobo. Bobo, kasi marunong pumasok yung crab, hindi marunong <laughs> Right now, siguro tinanggal na ng may-ari yung uh, crabs. Wala na po siyang kuwan. May pain po sa loob, usually is the, uh, yung po ang kakainin ng, uh, ng crabs as floor. Tapos, papasok siya, hindi na niya alam paano lumabas. So, ito pong panggal. in the system is called Bobo. Meron tayong mga gandang uh, klase ng crabs po dito because it's a lugo na brackish water. Pero ito yung tawag natin swimming blue crab at saka yung Blue crab lang. Blue, blue crab. <laughs> blue crab lang. Ang mystery. Uh, sa kanila, ang tawag doon, kagang sukay, kagang uh, pato. Yun. So, kasama po yan sa live youth project natin. And then, itong mga yellow boots po, uh, kasama na rin po yan sa ating uh, alternative live youth program, so I could reason. Yung mga binabayad natin, diretso pa yung magpumunta sa mga villagers. Okay? So, we'll now uh, demonstrate to you paano po kinukuha yung green caviar o yung uh, sea grapes na tinatawag. Okay? So, Lato. Kina niya po yung angle ng maayos, lampasari po. Ayan, ganito po, no? Napaka-challenging na buhay dito. Kunin yung green cup yard. Meron, meron na po kayong green cup yard. Di ba? Napaka-challenging. <laughs> so, na-discover po nila sa Singapore, ito po lang green cup yard. This can be an alternative really ng caviar, yung malaking isda na kinukuha yung egg. Patayin muna yung malaking isda pa, para makuha yung egg. So, This one tastes nearly the caviar in Singapore. And one thing they also discover, mataas po ito sa iodine which is good for wow. water and some thyroid problems kung meron tayo. No? And then isa pa, na-discover din nila, mataas pa ito sa antioxidant. Wow! Pampabata ng skin. Wow! Wow! Kamay ko na yung sikara. Kaya, tatago lang po natin ito para hindi maubo. Dahil mataas po ito sa iodine. And antioxidant. So imagine how blessed this place is. Yes! And then proceed po tayo dito sa Sunbury area. Bababa po tayo for a group picture of self Hi! Daddy, Daddy, hi! Dray, Dray, saan kayo, Dray? Where are you? So ayun mga cubs, tapos na po tayo sa ating tour sa Sambuanga City and we're home. We are now home so thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching and I hope nag-enjoy po kayo sa ating trip today. Kami, well, sobrang enjoy talaga. Wow! Magandang baon po sa pag-uwi. 
ang mga alaala ng Santa Cruz sa Buangga City. So mga Cubs, if you enjoy and like our video today, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell para ma-update po kayo sa mga paparating pa po nating mga uploads. So, thank you very much and I hope to see you next time in our next trip. Alright? Bye mga Cubs. God bless.